Hello, today's devotional can be found in 1 Nephi chapter 17, verse 30. And notwithstanding they being led the Lord their God, their Redeemer, going before them, leading them by day, and giving light unto them by night, and doing all things for them which were expedient for man to receive, they hardened their hearts and blinded their minds, and rebelled against Moses and against the true and living God. All right. So, the Lord leads us. He guides us. Christ strengthens us and gives us courage through his atonement. And he leads us through the promptings of his Holy Spirit. And through the Lord's Spirit, we can be led by day and by night. And even in times of darkness, we can be led if we stay close to the Lord and keep ourselves in such a way that it is safe for the Holy Spirit to dwell with us. And we shouldn't be afraid to keep the Holy Spirit with us, even if we do look peculiar. Because what's wrong with looking peculiar? It keeps us safe. There is safety in following the Lord, you know. There is, There shouldn't be any shame in it. And if you have shame in following the Lord, well, that's your own problem. And the Lord, Heavenly Father and Jesus Christ, do all things for us and guide us to opportunities that we may not only have joy in this life, but in the next life as well. But unfortunately, not everyone wants joy. One of the gifts that God gave us was our agents, the ability to choose for ourselves. And for some, God's lifestyle, is, God's choices and his lifestyle and his commandments are too stifling and interrupt the comfort zone that others have been trying to build. And so people harden their hearts. They allow themselves to be influenced by both Satan and man. And become blind to the fact that the Lord's hand is in all things if they take the time to see it. And they revile against the prophets and against God, and hence they rebel. They speak against God knowing that Jesus Christ is the only one who can save them from themselves. And that without God there would be no plan of salvation, no chance for any of us to be redeemed even after death. But because of God we can be redeemed after death. And that we may find life even after we are dead because of this atonement and that wonderful plan of salvation. We cannot be afraid to ask God and Jesus Christ for help because we can trust them unconditionally above all else. In a world today that we cannot trust very many, they are constants, they are unconditionally loving, and they will truly care We can have the light of Christ with us if we so ask for it. It will be given to us. And God and Jesus Christ will never lead us astray. But if we allow our hearts to be hardened and blinded by the negatives, Satan will rejoice and cause those he has influenced to rebel. And people may not be able to see that the atonement is the way out of that trap of rebellion. Let us not fall into the trap of rebellion and rebel against the Lord that we may end up someday being blind to the Lord and reviling against ourselves because we do not recognize ourselves and what we have become because we have forsaken the Lord. Even though we forsake the Lord, 
sometimes in our choices, the Lord never forsakes us and He loves us unconditionally and He gives us all that we need and more to be able to make the most of this life and the next. And then He gives us the choice whether to take a path that may be difficult but very worth it or to take an easy path that will lead to nothing but temporal happiness but the feeling of being lost long term God's not going to take away our agency but guess what we lose it when we make poor choices God has given us our agency and he's also given us many opportunities but you know what when we take the wrong opportunities we tend to lose our agency and until we uh, until we seek out the atonement for help that agency will not be given back to us because without repentance without the atonement our agency is not our own. And we must be grateful for all that God gives us. And show it by living our life the best we can. But it's our choice. We do have agency given to us after all. And with that said, I love you all so very much. And I say these things humbly in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.